Hello everybody, my name is Kala Sariki and in this video I'm going to teach you how to access your photos that you have taken uh, using your smart remote control in a DJI um, drone. So the pictures that have been saved in your smart remote. Uh, just in case if you lose your drone, if it never comes back or if the pictures on the drone itself, memory card, uh, were not accessible or damaged you have a secondary place where you can access those pictures and how to access them, how to zoom into them and play them and what have you. All those things is what I'm going to teach you. Uh, this was actually uh, uh, asked by one of my viewers in my YouTube channel that asked me how to do that. So basically this is why I'm making this video. All right, so let's get started. The first thing, of course, you turn it on. By the way, to do this, you do not need the drone to turn on the drone. The DJI Smart Remote by itself it will do the trick. Okay. So right here where it says connect, you don't need to press connect because you are not uh, connecting to the drone and you don't even have the drone on. So from the home, home page, or I should say from the home screen, uh, uh, you can click on the little icon where it says photos now if you don't have the screen you can press back and it will take you to the screen you can press this button okay so let's go here so here are our photos here are our albums and um, this is what's on the SD card so all the good stuff and you could you know choose this and look at it now if I want to zoom into this picture using two hands you go like this you zoom in. This is my little daughter. It was her graduation. So there is how you zoom into it. See, I'm taking these pictures using the smart remote. And that's how you zoom. And this is how you slide to the next picture. Slide to the next picture. Zoom. Slide to the next. And so on. So this is basically where all your pictures are. Once you have a picture, you can either delete that picture from here, you can share the picture, you can edit the picture. Let's say if I want to edit this picture, I can click on edit and use rotate 90 degrees, rotate 90 degrees uh, counterclockwise or, cl or clockwise, like this way or this way you can change the picture. Or you could cancel the edit. What else you can do? You can you could see the resolution, the file size, and all the other things that is available. This file is 9.51 megabyte. That's that's a good size picture right there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. There. So as you can see, the file size is huge for this picture. Okay. So that's where that is. This is the lead. The share part is you could share it via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Or you could link it to your computer and transfer it uh, to your computer or copy it to the SD card. Yeah, the, uh, you have all kinds of options to move the picture to. And by, uh, by the way, right here is where the SD card is. Obviously, you know that. Most people know that. And also, if you want to go back, these pictures are actually, these pictures are already on the SD card. These photos are the internal memory. Well, actually, there's only videos, no photos on the internal memory. And these are the albums. And uh, so since this is already in the SD card, there is no need for me to copy them to the SD card. But I could do like, you know, I could like select two, three, four, six, seven. Like I could select all of them and I could, you know, do either delete or share. Basically, I selected all these pictures. I can do delete all or share all. Cancel. So that's how you access your saved media files uh, on your smart remote control and, you know, essentially zoom into it to see it and, uh, and see if it's worth keeping or, or deleting and what have you. Okay. I hope this was uh, educational. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment down below and I'll be sure to reply to it.
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.